Don't get me wrong, it's not like I don't like this new feature, I just don't think it caters to all styles of workflow. Cubase 14 now lets you reorder channels in the mixer, but not exclusively just the channels, as it also affects the order of tracks in the project. Which is okay if you don't tend to have things inside of folders, however if you do like to have things meticulously organised, there are a few behaviours you should be aware of. For example, let's say I just wanted to move the channels in the mixer here for the yellow tracks over to the right of the orange. Works in theory, but because it's also moving the tracks in the project, it's placed them into the neighbouring folder. And you might think, well maybe if I just drag these back over to the left it'll pop them back in their original folder. As you can see, it's done absolutely bugger all. So your options here are to use Ctrl and Z to undo the previous steps, or you can manually select the tracks in the project and move them back into the folder. I tried doing this from the visibility pane in the mixer, and when you move tracks out of a folder, that folder will disappear, so you can't really place them back in. In the main project window, if you try this, you can still see the folder, however you just can't place the tracks back inside of it, even with the folder open. For those of you that just create a handful of tracks in your project and you don't really use folders or anything like that, you're not really going to be bothered about this, you're, in fact you're probably going to really like this feature. If you're someone that makes orchestral music, and the particular workflow you like to use makes exclusive use of the VST rack of Cubase, it's not really going to be too much of an issue because your MIDI tracks will be separate from the audio channels that are created from the rack instrument. However, if you have a workflow like mine where you make use of instrument tracks and audio channels and you organize them in folders, that's where this new feature kind of falls short. So there are two solutions in my opinion to help make this better. The first one would be to allow the decoupling of tracks and channels, so you can freely organise the audio channels in the mixer without it affecting the hierarchy of the tracks in the project. However, with how Cubase is built, I don't think that is possible. So the alternative to this is one that I'm sure everyone would be able to get behind, and that is to allow folder tracks to act as an audio bus. Think about it. You've got hundreds of tracks in your project organized into folders. You open up your mixer and you've just got a handful of folder tracks. Inside those folders are the nested channels for those different instruments, which you can expand and collapse for the folder. But you can also use the folder to adjust the volume of all those instruments as a group. You can apply processing, like a group bus, and you can also work with sends. This would really improve the experience of Cubase working on larger projects and really save a lot of headaches and a lot of messing around with routing. So maybe Steinberg, think about that one for a future update. Anyway, that's all from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be making more on Cubase 14 and its new features and I'll do my best to ensure that you guys know the pros and cons of these new features. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the box below. Thanks for watching.